does that mean emotions are good or emotions are bad? No, emotions are designed so that it reinforces chemically something into long-term memory. That's why we have them. All emotion is, is holographically imprinted chemicals. The most sophisticated pharmacy in the universe is in here. There's a part of the brain called the hypothalamus. And the hypothalamus is like a little mini factory. And it is a place that assembles certain chemicals that match certain emotions that we experience. And those particular chemicals are called peptides. They're small chain amino acid sequences. The body's basically a carbon unit that makes about 20 different amino acids all together to formulate its physical structure. The body is a protein producing machine. In the hypothalamus, we take small chain proteins called peptides and we assemble them into certain neuropeptides or neurohormones that match the emotional states that we experience on a daily basis. So there's chemicals for anger and there's chemicals for sadness and there's chemicals for victimization. There's chemicals for lust. There's a chemical that matches every emotional state that we experience. And the moment that we experience that emotional state in our body or in our brain, that hypothalamus will immediately assemble the peptide that then releases it through the pituitary into the bloodstream. The moment it makes it into the bloodstream, it finds its way to different centers or different parts of the body. Now, every single cell in the body has these receptors on the outside. And one cell can have thousands of receptors studding its surface, kind of opening up to the outside world. And when a peptide docks on a cell, it literally, uh, like a key going into a lock, sits on the receptor surface and attaches to it and kind of moves the receptor and kind of like a doorbell buzzing sends a signal into the cell. It's party time! What happens in adulthood is that most of us who've had our glitches along the way are operating in a emotionally detached place or we're operating as if today were yesterday. What is it? Mixed. In either the disconnected place or the overly emotional reactive place, because they've gone to an earlier time in reality, the person is not operating as an integrated whole. Along the outside of the cell are these billions of receptor sites that are really just receivers of incoming information. A receptor that has a peptide sitting in it um, changes the cell in many ways. It sets off a whole cascade of biochemical events, some of which wind up with changes in the actual nucleus of the cell. <laughs> Thanks. 
Each cell is definitely alive, and uh, each cell has a consciousness, particularly if we define consciousness as the point of view of an observer. There is always the perspective of the cell. A few years later, In fact, the cell is the smallest unit of consciousness in the body. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Well, my definition of an addiction is something really simple, something that you can't stop. We bring to ourselves situations that will fulfill the biochemical craving of the cells of our body by creating situations that meet our chemical needs. It always happens to me. Why? Every Why? day. An addict will always need a little bit more in order to get a rush or a high of what they're looking for chemically. Don't tell me to calm down. You're always buzzing me around. So my definition really means that if you can't control your emotional state, you must be addicted to it. You won't here. do anything about it, so I... No, 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 ma'am. Don't dip your half-eaten shrimp back into the cocktail sauce. Screw you and your health coats. I am the bride's sister. I'll stick my ass in the cocktail sauce if I damn well please. Come on. I want you to get out there and serve and make sure everybody has a full glass. Fun, fun, fun. Listen, so you, you won't do anything man. about it, so... You are not your So how can anyone really say they're in love with a specific person, for example? They're only in love with the anticipation of the emotions they're addicted to. Because the same person could fall out of favor the next week by not complying. My goodness, doesn't that change the landscape of our emotional outlook on personal needs and identities? Well,